morning. Um, so I'm doing my Doctor Who doubleheader today, but there was a bit of a snag. Uh, I had planned to do it with my DVDs, um, but OBS would not record it. It was just a big gray square. So, um, I'm going to go through Amazon instead because if you've ever tried to make Doctor Who videos, you would know that it is absolutely impossible to get the footage of the older episodes. They just, they don't have them online anymore. Um, alright, so let's get going with that. Give me a second here. Episode nine. Here we go. Close your eyes and tell me what you see. I haven't watched this in so long. It will be very exciting. The library. Oh God, she looks like a baby Clara. Scary. We're near the equator, so this must be biographies. I love biographies. Yeah, very you. Always a death at the end. Really good death. No death, there'd only be comedies. Dying gives us signs. We have spoilers. What? Spoilers. Books from your future. They want to read ahead, spoil all the surprises. I'm peeking at the What's end. What's his word? Huh. Big spoiler. Like. Try to keep you away. The library. Oh, 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 look what I have. The whole planet. Maybe it's a Sunday. No, I never land on Sundays. Sundays are boring. Not just oh. that. Maybe everyone's really, really quiet. Yeah, I maybe. This one too. But they still show up on the system. Doctor, why are we here? Really, why? Oh, you know, just passing. No, seriously, it was all let's hit the beach, then suddenly we're in a library. What? Oh, that's interesting. What? Okay, scan for life. I thought I scan looking for your basic human You know, I mean, books can't be alive. that mean? Donna? <laughs> yeah. Stay out of the shadows. Mm-hmm. Well, what's in the shadows? The dog. The message on the psychic paper. What do you think? Kiss. <laughs> Cry for help. With a kiss. Oh, we've all done that, huh? Where's it from? No idea. So what's becoming? Why did you- Donna. I love it. She had him by the balls even before he ever met her. <laughs> Go, Donna. No! I just- 
just noticed something. That rug that she fell on that looks oh, like some I'm kind sorry, of sigil. I really am. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's alive. You said mm. it was a security camera. It is. It's an alive one. Can you hear me? Yeah, see? Are you all right? More than a speaker weight machine, eh? Can't help you. So why's it got a face? This flesh aspect was donated by Mark Chambers on the occasion of his death. It's a real face. <laughs> it's been actualized individually for you from the many facial aspects saved to our extensive flesh banks. Please, enjoy. It chose me a dead face it thought I'd like. <laughs> that such is not a real dead person's face on it. Poor Dara. It's basically like donating a park bench. It's donating a face! Oh, wait, oh. What? What? Hands! Shut up, look. Hands? Yes, you are old and thick. Come on, Teddy. How must be going? Special ones on fishing cells that light burn the sun. I can't help Good myself. Moments, everyone. We got breathers. How do you know they're She's not so here? fabulous? I'm asking you seriously and properly. Just let hang on. Did you say expedition? <laughs> My expedition. I funded it. Oh, you're not. Are oh, you tell me you're not archaeologists? Okay, archaeologist. Got a problem with archaeologists? I'm a time traveler. I point him out. Archaeologists. Archaeologist. Ah. Professor Riversong. Archaeologist. Riversong. Lovely name. As you're leaving, and you're leaving now. Almost every species in the universe has an irrational fear of the dark, but they're wrong. Because it's not no, irrational. It's, it's Vashta Narada. Vashta Narada! So what's in the dark? Find out about what happened here a hundred years ago. Pretty boy, you're with me. Pretty boy. Step into my office. Professor Song, why am I the only one wearing my helmet? I don't fancy you. <laughs> Acting like you don't know me, I'm assuming there's reason. Well, I'm fairly good one, actually. Okay, should we do diaries then? Fairly good this time. Uh, going by your face, I'd say it's early days for you, yeah? So, um. Crash of the Byzantium, have we done that yet? It's like, what the fuck? It's <laughs> the Nobels. <gasps> You're young. I'm really not young. No, but you are. Your eyes. Seen you. You've seen me before then. Doctor, please tell me you know who I am. Who are you? <laughs> what is that? Is that an alarm? Doctor? I'm getting all watery eyed. Jesus. I'm sorry. But I hope everybody who's watching this is, has seen the entirety of the show because 
it, it is so more, so much more meaningful to go back to the early episodes after you've seen her whole arc. Oh God, this is, it hurts. Wow. Okay. It's that same sigil. Uh, let's try something else. I get it. I got it now. Don't touch the book. <laughs> Sorry, you're not allowed to see inside the book. It's against the rules. No rules. No rules. What's cow? Ask Mr. Lux. Cow, what is it? Sorry, you didn't sign your personal experience contract. Oh, he's such a douche. Mr. Lux, hundred years. Excuse me. Not just now. There was one other thing in the last message. That's confidential. I trust this man with my life, <laughs> with everything. You've only just met him. No, he's only just met me. Yeah. Uh oh. To me. Who are you to me? Again. Spoilers. Chicken she and a bit of salad. Can't tell you. Out. The library is real. There are people trapped in there. People who need to be saved. Oh, Dr. The Moon. Again. Those people are depending on you. Only you can save them. Only you. You travel with him, don't you? Aww. The doctor. You travel with him. What of it? Don't get snarky, Donna. Right. Ask him a question. You know him, don't you? Oh, God, do I know that man. I go way back, that man and me. Just not this far back. I'm sorry, what? He hasn't met me yet. I sent him a message, but it went wrong. It arrived too early. This is the doctor in the days before he knew me. And he looks at me. He looks right through me. It shouldn't kill me, but it does. What are you talking about? Are you just talking rubbish? Do you know him or don't you? Donna! Why? What? Sorry. Donna. You're Donna. Donna Noble. Yeah. Why? I do know the doctor, but in the future, give her that his much. personal future. So why don't you know me? Where am I in the future? Okay, well, it's not dark. I stand those tunnels. This. Sorry. No. I'm just not playing with my Sonic. Some of those people go missing. Oh, this one, River Whenever Sonic, the dark. has the little every shadow. No. Well, it doesn't work, but it has it has so the do? little delay well, thing. The you know, Some the lights the on it. It's on cool. I wish it lit up, but it doesn't. Sure. I mean, it does, but no, it no needs way. battery. Next point, must be an exit teleport somewhere. Look at me, I haven't memorized the schematics. Doctor, the little shop, they always make you go to the little shop on the way out. So little little shop. Stop. Just tell me you are from home. Why? I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. But you've got two shadows. It's how they hunt. They latch onto a food source and keep it fresh. What do I do? I should have worn my Vashti Narada shirt today. Like there's a million it would have been so appropriate. Where's your helmet? Don't point, just tell me. This one tends Sonic and expands. Oh, and and it's multifaceted. Okay, so it expands like that. And now, the rest of you, do that. Helmets and, back on and, and we'll need everything we've got. It's a pen. 
And it has um, a thing where you can change it to give it the red light. But I never do that. Because it takes work and I'm lazy. I've got a 11s too on a keychain. But that's downstairs, so you don't get to see it today. Bye, Donna, bye. <laughs> Where did it go? That was very home alone of me. I, I, look round. I just don't like it. I don't like Donna screaming. It, it's very triggering. We're still here. We can leave him, can't we? I mean, no. He spends a lot of time on his knees. I'm just saying. Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh, well, they're fine. No, seriously, turn oh. them back on. They are on. I can't see a ready thing. Hey, turn around. What's going on? Hey, who turned out the lights? Doctor, don't. Dave, can you hear me? Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh my. I have to I have to say a thing okay if you've never watched listened hash slash watch listen whatever if you've never experienced the commentary for this episode you need to because there's so much stuff in it and also it's hilarious it is Stephen Moffat Julie Gardner and David Tennant Okay, I mean, what more do you need? But the three of them should never be allowed to do commentaries together because, oh my god. Anyway, um, in the commentary, Stephen Moffat says that that was Jack Nar Harkness's squareness gun that River just used. She, he said that when Jack left the TARDIS for the last time, he never expected to be leaving, you know, because he just died and was brought back. And, you know, well, you remember. So he left a bunch of stuff on on the on the TARDIS, and then when River um, was around, she found it, <laughs> picked it up, and stole it. And, um, so then Julie asked him, you know, oh, so that, does that mean that River has been spending the night on the TARDIS? And he said, well, of course she has. So, um, there you go. That's, that's some insight about the squareness gun and where she got that. Because that was a, that was a fan question for a really long time. And it wasn't until I heard the commentary that, that I was like, oh, well, that's kind of awesome and a way to tie Jack back into the the universe so there you go knowledge I imparted on you here we go <laughs> where they're all running and running and here's the so monster this, stumbling after them Don't so insane. slow and he's still gonna catch him Sweetie. that's so frustrating it's one one reason I hate zombie things because how the hell do they ever get caught by zombies they're the slowest things in the universe
Okay. That's a rant for another day. So, that is a nice ballerina pose you've got on there. Oh, here we go. Ah, screwdriver. Looks like it's in on mine. Yeah. Yes, it does. Give it to me. I don't give my screwdriver to anyone. I'm not anymore. Who are you? What's the plan? That's the Can question. The, the, towers. the console signals me there's a teleport breach. Or well, maybe the coordinates have slipped. The equipment here is ancient. Donna Noble. There's a Donna Noble somewhere in this library. You're the software for the current oh, position. Donna Noble has left the library. Donna Noble has been saved. Donna Noble has left the library. Donna. Donna Noble has been saved. How can it be Donna? How's that possible? See, because she knows how Donna really goes. Donna how she leaves his life. Clearly he's Donna talked to her. Because she knew Donna's name and... So... She knows that's not how she goes. That was good... Good acting by Captain Tate right there. I'm so... Wow. Okay. So let's uh go back a second. Oh god damn it. Okay. Um just give me Okay, um, I'm going to do a short review of that episode, and then I'm going to take a break, and then I'll come back in a few minutes to do Force of the Dead. Okay, so, um, Silence of the Library. You heard some of my stuff in there, but, um, again, I need to reiterate, definitely, definitely, if you have the DVDs, um, watch the commentary if you haven't seen it. And if you don't have the DVDs, just go and rent them. Because they're, they're really, also, um, David Tennant does, for his, for his, um, his tenure on, on the show, he did a commentary for like every other episode which is pretty much unheard of for the star of a show he there's this thing i'm sure you can get an amazon it's kind of expensive it's like 100 something bucks but it's totally worth it and it's all of his it's called this it's doctor who the complete david Tennant years and it's seasons two three and four Plus all Christmas specials. There's like a couple Easter specials, I think. Plus it's got all kinds of illustrate, like comic book type stuff. And just like pictures from the show. Okay. It's it's very cool. Oh, and it also has all the Doctor Who confidentials on there and and um, it's it's well worth the money. I've watched it a whole bunch of times. Um, so if you have the, if you have the DVDs, watch the Silence in the Library commentary. The Force of the Dead commentary is just, like, make, hair and makeup lady, and the, I think the director is on there, and there's a costume supervisor. So you have the, the creative team for the first part, and the technical team for the second part. Um, I don't ever watch the second part commentary because it's kind of boring and they do they do say some nice things about Alex Kingston who if you don't know that that's who plays River but other than that it's you know whatever. The first part though there's a lot of stuff about River's character um, her relationship to the doctor um, because nobody knew anything about her at that point when it aired and when the DVDs came out. So there was a lot of speculation and, and there's some, there's some really good stuff. In there. Anyway, moving on. Um, this episode, I love 
love, love the way River refuses to back down from the doctor. She knows this man inside and out. Even though he doesn't know her yet, she doesn't care. And um, she's she's not going to let him get away with anything. And, and it's like Stephen Moffat has said before that, you know, he's so used to prancing around and being so smart and, and clever and, and impressing people with his wit and his, his, you know, I'm a time traveler type thing, you know, just it being very impressive, generally. And he doesn't know where he stands with her because she's a time traveler too and she's just as clever as he is, maybe even more so. And she knows him. She knows everything about him, and he doesn't, he's, he's very confused, and he, it makes him angry. And um, so I, I love that dynamic in the beginning, because it's, they're so off balance. I mean, they're off balance for most of their relationship, let's be honest. But um, especially in the beginning, where she really knows everything, and he doesn't have a clue. Um, so that's fun. That's really fun. And especially if you've watched all the episodes, you've seen the whole arc, like especially up to the most recent one, the Christmas special with Peter Capaldi, with 12 and, and River reuniting. Um, and then you go back to the beginning and you watch her introduction. It's really, it's just... It gets it gets to you because you see her whole journey, and then you see how it started, and it's just there's little little pieces that were thread throughout the whole thing, well thought out meticulous plan, which I guess is why some people think it's confusing. I don't think it's confusing at all. I pay attention to things, um, But yeah, so if you go back and you watch from the beginning, I mean, so many things make sense now. And it's just, it's really heartbreaking, but it's also wonderful at the same time.